Yo, 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 welcome back. You're listening to Nerd Pack. It's De Niro. I'm gonna go through all the Easter eggs that I noticed in episode two of WandaVision. All right, let's get into it. So right away, we have the black and white theme again, but this time with the animation, which is similar to Bewitched, the 1960s sitcom. Straight away, I noticed everyone else in the town is looking in through the window, but Agnes is looking in through the front door. Why is she the only character that's allowed in the house? We see Wanda and Vision practicing their magic show and Wanda's pushing in a wardrobe. And on the front, there's two things it kind of looks like to me. One, Iron Man's helmet without the face features. And two, Vision's Mind Stone. And the ray around it could be just the, the light that comes from the stone. Then we see Vision asks Wanda whether she's worried about the audience seeing through their little charade. Now, audience seeing through, I'm going to assume they mean the people in the town seeing through all their tricks and all their illusions and when she says she wants to fit in and you know she wants to feel normal which makes me think she's aware of the environment that she's in however whoever put her in this situation has maybe wiped away a memory of vision passing away it doesn't make sense that vision is aware of his surroundings if he was made by her she wouldn't want him to know that where they are isn't real so it makes me think there's someone that made her make this dimension but then also had vision there already or maybe someone is vision Wanda saying she wants to fit in again just reinstates she was forced to make this dimension however she didn't have much power in designing it because if she made this dimension she would fit in perfectly they wouldn't be no problems now we see sword make its first appearance within that dimension they sent in a drone or a helicopter, like a toy helicopter in red and yellow, which gave me an Iron Man feeling. And maybe the aim was for Vision to find the helicopter and then maybe get a flashback of Iron Man and come back to his senses. Maybe the red could also be referenced to Scarlet Witch and her original costume. Either way, the drone or the toy helicopter, whichever it is, it's just to show that they're being watched closely by a sword. And I think the messenger could be a sword agent because when he said to Agnes don't shoot I'm just a messenger it's like he's basically saying I'm just here to survey and report back to sword and maybe she kind of felt like hmm who's this guy because she looked back at him with an expression like hmm I haven't seen this guy before then we get introduced to another agent of sword the reason why I think she's an agent of sword is because when Wanda asked for her name she paused then said her name Geraldine now, if you know your name, why would you pause? What I think is when you go into that dimension from the real world, maybe your mind's a bit shaken or maybe the whole idea of that dimension is the minute you enter, everything that you know from before gets wiped away. We see Vision eat for the first time and it's chewing gum. And when he accidentally swallows it, he sort of goes into like a, a drunken state. Now, when Wanda and Dottie are speaking privately, we hear on the radio someone say, Wanda, who's doing this to you? Again, Sword is making themselves present. They're finding other means of communicating to her or trying to get her attention. Before that, Dottie already told Wanda that she's heard things about her vision, which could mean that maybe people in that society are starting to get their memory back or maybe there's more agents finding access into that dimension and spreading the news that Wonder with Vision aren't who they say they are. Then, due to the shock of the radio call, Dottie somehow finds the strength to crush the glass. She cuts herself, her blood leaks out. Again, the blood is potent red, similar with the helicopter. The red could symbolize the 90s version of Scarlet Witch, obviously Scarlet meaning red. Once again, the character comes back to their senses, forgets the danger they were in or what happened and then carries on as normal. The same way when the Vision's boss was choked and Vision took out the piece of food from his throat, he went back to normal. I feel like there's a condition set in this dimension. We get another advert. This time it's about a watch by Strucker. On the watch, we see the Hydra logo, Hydra, and for me, I think it's just a reference back to Age of Ultron, where her and her brother first debuted into the MCU. You see Agnes laughing at Wanda when she says, 
she wants to be more like herself. And Agnes pauses, looks at her and says, oh, that's a good one. As if to say, Wanda, don't step out of line. Stay in line. Don't change what we've arranged. I just don't, I don't know who Agnes is, but I feel like she's not who she appears to be. We get to the talent show and there's a lot of emphasis on for the children. For the children. For the children. And yet, there's no children in sight. No one in the town has kids. So I'm guessing it's a reference to Wiccan and Speed. And I'm sure we're going to see them either in the next few episodes or maybe at the end of the season. However, it does depend on how time works in that dimension. She might get pregnant, then in another episode, she's given birth. Next episode, they're toddlers. The next one, they're like eight. So it depends on how time works in that dimension. So we might see them at the end of the season. We might see them midway. It just depends on how it works in that dimension, really. We see a drunk vision flying knowing that he's not supposed to be showing his powers to the town then we see Wanda save him by attaching a rope to his back i think the rope symbolizes the idea that someone behind the scenes is pulling the strings in order to maintain this illusion Wanda and vision now perform the wardrobe trick because there was so much pressure Wanda had no other option but pop out geraldine from the wardrobe so geraldine comes out now she's in shock because she has no idea how she got from the back into the wardrobe she comes out, everyone applauses, then she questions them by saying, how did I get from the back into, into this space? Then Vision says, a magician never reveals his trick. He leaves that to his assistant. Then she looks at Wanda and then she says, she's not talking. Geraldine said, I had the feeling you would say that. So there's a few things in that scene that stood out. The fact that Vision said, a magician never reveals his trick makes me feel like, is Vision Vision? Somebody or something might be in Vision now. It's almost like he's saying, today we will lie to you. Which means Wanda knows what's happening to an extent. She's saying, I'm not speaking. And then the agent, Geraldine Ward, that we think is an agent of sword, saying, I had the feeling you'd say that. So it's almost like maybe Geraldine's coming back to her senses a little bit and she, she probably thought she could dig in, but Wanda isn't biting. That little scene is like, who's, who's vision? Then what do we see? Wanda's pregnant. Tells vision this is really happening. He says, yes. They hear a noise, go outside. They realize that the drain lid is shaking. Then a beekeeper comes out with active bees flying around him. Vision looks very worried. However, Wanda looks like she knows who that character is. And she says, no. And it's like she pressed rewind or she reversed time to the moment where she just realized she's pregnant and now they're gonna have children. And like I said before, with the way that dimension works and her powers in this dimension, maybe she has the ability to reverse back time. I'm not too sure. Like I said, if she can use this outside of that dimension, then it's gonna be crazy. We come back to the house now and now there's color. And I think this represents when color came into TV, that's obviously the upgrade from the black and white to color. Everything's more modern. Obviously, this is a time skip. So when we next see Wanda, I'm going to assume the bump's gonna be much bigger or she could be near enough ready to pop. And I know this might sound quite bleak, but maybe the black and white vision, that could symbolize the last time Wanda saw him, he was great. And now because they're bringing in life into the TV show or into their world, we're bringing life back in. Let's give him life by giving him color. When I was saying before <laughs> that she might not have that much control, she might have a lot more control than I thought. And now I'm thinking there's something Wanda isn't letting us know, but we'll see when we watch more <laughs> thank you so much guys for watching my video like i said before if i've missed any easter eggs or you've got your own theories let me know in the comments below smash that notification bell so you can always get updates on my videos like comment and subscribe and like i always say follow the pack follow the pack and i'll see you next video